Hey guys, and welcome to the RevitKid.com. What I'm going to show you today is how to make your own material library. When you begin creating a bunch of custom materials, it can be quite the process to get them into new models. So by creating your library, you can simply drag and drop assets between projects with ease. So what you're going to do first is in my existing project here where I have a bunch of custom materials, I'm going to click Manage and Materials. And then I'm going to click my Asset Browser because I want both open. So on the bottom you can see here it says Opens and Closes Asset Browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search in my materials for some of my custom materials. And then I'm going to go to Appearance to see which ones they are. So this looks like it's the one I want. I want to bring over the vertical metal panel. So you can see right now I, I started with a, uh, an asset that was called Horizontal 6 Inch Beige. I should have renamed that. So I'm going to call this Vertical Metal Panel red. Now what I did was I renamed the asset. So when I go over to document assets I can search vertical metal panel and they'll come up so it's right there. What document assets does is it actually shows you only the assets that are in the model. So now you'll see here I have the Revit Kid library new. I'm gonna create a new one to show you how I did that. So simply click on the bottom left hand side say create new library and we're going to call this the Revit Kid Materials. You can see we've got it now on our list. Now if I go to Document Assets and I scroll down, unfortunately when you type, the second you type vertical, you'll see it actually gets rid of some of the, uh, it'll get rid of my custom library, so unfortunately that's something that you need to deal with. Um, if I scroll down and I go to the V's, you can see it's right here vertical metal panel red now all I have to do is drag that into the Revit Kid materials now if I click in the Revit Kid materials you'll see it's there so that's great so you can go through as you're making as you're making materials or later on and you can start dragging these custom materials into your library And the nice thing about those is when I go to my new project so I have a brand new project open and I go to manage and materials and then I go to my asset browser you can see here's my libraries already and you could do this on a brand new machine if you want as long as it's pointing to the right images and you could load the library uh, you'd click the Revit Kid materials and you could see right away there's my asset so it's as simple as creating a new material here new material going to appearance replacing the asset and replacing it with the new one and just like that, I've got my custom material into a new project, and I start building my own library. I hope this helps you guys out. 